So I'm down here on the Jurassic Coast and we're going to go fossil hunting. So I've got an idea that round here we're going to find these shiny multicoloured like ammonite fossils and it's all in this like grey clay stuff. So when you look close you see, oh I've got a wet bottom already, you see these little fragments of like slightly shiny stuff. So they are fossilised bits of mother of pearl. So when the shell was originally underground millions of years ago, as it got crushed, the mother of pearl actually got preserved. So, I mean, there's another little bit there. This is a slightly better bit. Here. When you start looking closer, you see tiny little fragments of like purple or orange that are shiny against all the other shingle. But I'm holding out for something a little bit bigger than these. In this one here, you can sort of see these bobbly bits. Now this shell would have continued like underneath, oh, I can't do with the mirror. This shell would have been huge. That would have been an ammonite like the size of my hand, my face. So cool. Love it. And here I found a little one that's wedged in the rock still and it's really got that colour to it. But sometimes when you're lucky it's not just tiny fragments or bits that are in rocks too big to take home. You can get pieces like this. This one you can really see ridges of shell structure and you can really get that shine. Bit of mud stuck on the back but... I'm obsessed with this one. Look. Ooh. Ah, this one looks extra shiny. I could literally just do this all day. Yeah, look at that. That's really purple, that one. Just little fragments everywhere. Or big ones. <laughs> and that's full of a different age of shell fossils, but that's a different video.